Hello, I'm Stephanie Fontenot. I'm the Marketing Director here at Visit Nacogdoches. And this morning, I'm here with a very special guest to speak to you about the Nacogdoches Film Festival. This is our annual film festival, which is coming up February 21st through 23rd. Um, you might recognize our special guest this morning. Um, I'm very happy to be with Brad Mall. He is also known as... Dr. Tony Jones on General Hospital. Um, he is a very valued com community member, but he's also a member of our film festival committee. So um, he's here to speak to us today about the festival to tell you what you can expect. Um, Mr. Maul, could you tell us, uh, provide us with an overview of the film festival and what attendees can expect? Yes. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> you have to call me Mr. Yeah. Maul. Ah, the film festival. Yes. Well, it's three days, and, you know, this is the year that I think everything has come together. Yes. Um, it's from basically 10 in the morning until about 9 o'clock at night. We're an early town here, so we try to yes. get in at a reasonable hour. Uh, but it's just going to be great fun this year. We have feature films that no one's ever seen and high quality. We've got short films from all over the world, actually. And then uh, we have high school short films, which uh, is a very interesting thing that's happening right now. Used to be high schools were known in UAL and com competitions. Uh, they would only have theater plays, you know, the one-act play contest. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, the last two years, they've started doing films, short films. And it went from, I'm a judge for UIL, mm -hmm. went from 70 high school films across the state of Texas mm -hmm. last year. This year, we judged 700. Wow. So the mm -hmm. quality is just going up, up, up. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, very nice. So we will have those film showings for people who have entered that com competition. And what else can we expect to see at the film festival? I just brought a list here so you know Perfect. what's happening. So Thursday night is the beginning of it. And all this takes place at the Fredonia Hotel, yes. which has really helped because it's a $14 million renovation, a beautiful hotel in a small town. So it's a wonderful place to go to. But we have uh, behind the scenes of the SFA film program, which has been actually uh, up and running for about 35 years at SFA. People didn't even know about it. Uh, it has 100 students, filmmakers, in this small town, this small university right now. And so we have a behind the scenes SFA film program with uh, Bill Arscott, who created the film program, Peyton Paulette, who's one of our professors, and then Derek Wayne Johnson, who's one of our graduates that's gone on to Los Angeles and become quite famous. Mm -hmm. And that's at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Then at 7 p.m., I won't give you the whole spiel, but we have the winner of the documentary film competition, and then we have the feature-length winner, Desert Shores, which is done by a 23-year-old filmmaker out of Los Angeles. He is flying out here for the competition. Awesome. And that's one of the great things. This year, we have uh, many people that won the contest actually coming from different places. Like the high school student is coming from Los Angeles with his mother. Right. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. So anyway, that's right. Friday night. That's a whole evening at the Fredonia Hotel. And then after the movies are over, uh, we, uh, we have an after party there in the hotel bar, which is actually one of the best attended events we have. Mm -hmm. because it's a chance for people to hang out with all the filmmakers and some people are just uh, you know they're just having interest in how do you make a film we well, get to sit down have hors d'oeuvres and a drink and talk to everybody so it's very informal and you get very close to all the celebrities and stuff then fr uh, Friday night we start at noon and uh, one of the things this film festival is famous for is the industry panels we have entertainment lawyers, we have grips and gaffers and lighting technicians. We have all kinds of things that you can learn about make filmmaking, mm -hmm. even if you're not a professional. And that goes on from noon until about 4 p.m. Panel sessions do, and that's all in the Fredonia Hotel. Then we start the films for the evening again, which is, we, have, oh, we also have a VIP party from five to seven that day, which is where you mingle and have a good time. And I might have mentioned all of this all three days with, you know, goodness, probably uh, 30 or 40 hours of continuous entertainment comes for a $100 price. Right, VIP pass. VIP pass. Sure. All access mm -hmm. 
get to hang with all the celebrities, everybody that comes, yeah. and go to the VIP parties, go to all the movies, everything is included for that hundred dollars. Some people say, well, I only have Saturday off. What do I do about that? You can buy a $30 mm -hmm. day pass if you want, right. but we prefer you just splash in and come to all of them. Right. Yes. Very nice. Anyway, Friday night, uh, we have another film, uh, Tejano. Uh, David Blue Garcia is the director of that. So it's kind of the same format every night. And then Saturday, starting at 10 in the morning, we have showings at the Cole Art Center until noon. And then after that, we move over to the hotel again. And this year, we bought, there's a new network called Pure Flix, mm -hmm. which is a Christian version of Netflix. And they have a brand new series called Sons of Thunder. It's produced by Michael Kruger, and Randall Reeder is a star. And you may not know Randall's name, but when you see him, you have absolutely seen him in so many movies. He's just a giant biker. But it's a, it's a wonderful series. We've also got the writer, uh, Amos Elson, who's from Garrison. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be um, something that, strangely enough, we try to be a, a family-friendly film festival. Now, if there, are, if there is some films that are a little bit more adult, we uh, steer people away from them or tell them about it in advance. Right. But this year, there is definitely a Christian element to mm -hmm. the filmmaking that some of the churches may be interested in. Okay. And uh, we do interviews. Uh, Friday night, I forgot to tell you, I'll be interviewing uh, Ruth Buzzy from Laugh In Fame. Mm -hmm. She was here last year, big hit, everybody loved her. Yes. So we asked them back and we brought uh, clips from all her shows of Dean Martin Roast and all her old Laugh In days. Yeah. And so I may have talked way too long. But no, that's <laughs> not at all, not at all. No, it's all really good information and it's all things that definitely need to be attended because they're so great. I'll tell you, for a small town, it's yes, amazing. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And this is the eighth annual, so eighth the eighth annual. year, so there's a lot that goes into this. Uh oh um, A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and something that makes this particular film festival special is the way that um, it's tied into our local university, Stephen F. Austin State University. Um, and it benefits our local film students, as you mentioned. Yeah. Can you tell us a little more about how they are benefited um, in terms of scholarships and experience that they gain at this festival? Yes. Uh, I'm on the board of the film festival, and we are a 501c3. Uh, you know, we're a nonprofit organization. It's all volunteer. Nobody gets paid. And all the money that we make from this uh, goes into scholarships for the film students there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason we like to do that is because it's very unusual for a small town to be uh, producing so many film people, uh, people with degrees, but they also they go out and they know how to work a film. And we have people now, Los Angeles, Dallas, Shreveport, New York, Atlanta, everywhere. And uh, so the film festival tries to help those kids uh, get that money to go, uh, mm -hmm. to go and live their dreams. Right, very nice, it's certainly special. Um, and so just to, to wrap up, so if there's you know, a few reasons that people should definitely attend this film festival, why should they really make an effort and attend this year, February 21 through 23rd? Well, number one, it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you've ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes of a film festival or behind the scenes of an actual making of a film, this is the place to get your answer. If you like to mix and mingle with uh, some, a few celebrities and things, uh, that's kind of fun. But you know, a lot of times I live here. I love this town. I've really enjoyed my time here. And but sometimes I hear students and I hear people in town go, "Well, there's nothing to do, you know, in Nacogdoches." You are so wrong. Right. <laughs> you know, if you just dig a little beneath the surface, you've got wine swirls and beer gardens and film festivals and just mm -hmm. something to do every every day right well, this is certainly a highlight so. yeah it'll be it's something fun to do and it's different mm -hmm. uh, and i i've had so many people tell me that you know once we got into it that we mm -hmm. dove in and said we're going to see three or four films a day we're going to talk to all these people they loved it it changed their life for that weekend mm -hmm. So. Absolutely. Well, you can't miss it. Get and, out of um, your easy chair. Yeah, get out of your easy chair. And Brad's going to be there. And so, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I can say, I mean, you gotta, you got to go see Brad. I clean up. <laughs>
I sell. <laughs> he works a lot at the film festival, and we're certainly appreciative. He is a very valued community member, and we're just happy to have him here and to be a part of this festival. Um, so we hope that you join us. This is right around the corner. If you would like more information about the festival, including the different tickets that Brad mentioned, the different price ranges, um, everything that that includes, you can find all of that information at NacogdochesFilmFestival.com. Or give us a call here at the Visitor Center if um, you want any specifics on booking a room at the Fredonia Hotel. They've got a block set up for this event. Um, so we're certainly here to help, and we're excited for this event. So come see us in Texas Oldest Town for the Nacogdoches Film Festival. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Brad. Okay. Mm -hmm.